There it is. <laughs> Transformation complete. <laughs> Fusion. <laughs> Uh, so, Ratu, uh, two episodes of the podcast have gone live. Uh, we recorded those, I think. In January. Like, no, February. I remember. No, one of them was before the end of the year, I think. Mm-mm. No? Beginning of the year? year because that's when I got my haircut. haircut and beginning of the, the year? Culture. Okay, so beginning of the year. It was months we, ago. We, we could, we could. How do you feel now? Uh, you know. Was- Any self-critiques on... On yourself because I don't like the way I sound. I'm very critical about the way I sound, or I, I used to be, and then I just thought, screw it. Just want to talk about the people that that uh, has ever told me, like, I speak good English. You are damn lie. <laughs> He I just damn need, lie. I need to watch the podcast. I can't look away and hear it because when I hear myself talk, I'm like, "Am I? Who's this fresh off the boat?" <laughs> look over. It's like I know it's me, but it's just you. You don't have an accent, though. It to me, that's what. There you go. Self critique. Yeah, I get it. I got an accent. <laughs> See, I and I don't like it when I hear my voice just recorded. I hear that I sound fat. Like I hear that I have like fat cheeks. And that's your that's yeah yeah yeah. It's very I self I self-critical. It. Like I said, when I just hear my voice, yeah. who's this fresh off the boat dude that's talking right now? <laughs> Cause yeah, I'm that's what I am envisioning with my voice. That's hilarious. And then it's me and I'm like, that's me. No, that's me, but I don't Sound like me. I don't. You see, you'll get used to it. Your imagination runs uh, wild. Wild. Yep. But all right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Barely Brothers Podcast. My name is Cisco, and my name is Ratu, and we're Milk Tonic. <laughs> I hate. I forgot that. We're Milk Tonic. You know, Silk Sonic. No, 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 no. this is Milk, milk Tonic. tonic. <laughs> Just by hearing it, you don't think they go well together. They don't. Once you have it, no, it doesn't. It doesn't still don't it go, still together. go together. <laughs> it still don't. That sounds like the worst thing ever. <laughs> and today on Fear Factor, <laughs> you have to drink one gallon of milk tonic. <laughs> what the hell is with that? Okay, so. Um, over the court, God, when we started recording the podcast, I started saving these questions. But um, January. January. January was when you did it. Okay, yeah, sometime in January. So it's been a good quarter of the year. It's crazy, right? Time flies by. Time flies by indeed. But um, back to the questions. You know what it is. Um, yeah, two episodes uh, before we get into the questions. Two episodes have already gone up. I have two more um, from from that other recording session because there's one recording session that you'll see that we're wearing the same thing. We knocked out like three podcasts in, in that one day. We was just talking. Mm-hmm. Talking it up. And we're going to be doing it again. Hopefully we can knock out a, a couple more today because I'm busy. Your boy's busy. And yeah, see, look at that. He's like, I already got to go. <laughs> no, the, it, my OCD turned yeah. on. It says three unread messages. I ain't got no unread <laughs> messages to watch. You got to clear it. Update that. Okay, back to the questions. Let's see here. Oh, no, this is just general. Search. I don't know her name. I've never been with this woman, <laughs> nor have I had sexual relations with this woman. That's enough questions for the day. That's enough questions for thank you the day. <laughs> okay, I do have a few of them here. Some of them are a little deep. I don't know how deep we want to go. I don't know how deep we want to get. Um, I mean, let's loosen up a little bit. Let's, let's yeah. Let's get something easy. Get okay. Get us talking. Okay. You know, this one's this one's real easy. Should be really easy. Oh. The brim. What is your favorite or what is your comfort show? 
Ooh. What is your comfort show? One that you know that you can turn on at the end of the day, unwind, relax, just let it run. You don't need to be hyper focused on it. But right, it a is a go to. If you had to pick number one, number one, what would it be? Comfort show. Ooh. Okay, let's do let's do Can I can I get a lifeline? Uh can, can you get a lifeline? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, Bob Barker. <laughs> what? Oh. Am I uh, not on the prices right? I'm sorry. <laughs> was that his name? Bob Barker? Yeah. He died. Yeah. yeah. For some reason I know I know that's him. Yeah, yeah. But we that agree. name just doesn't sound right to me. Yeah. Bob Bob Barker. Bob Barker. You see, it's because of the accent. Price is right though, really? <laughs> the accent. Yeah. Price is right. You know what? Just for that, it's be- you know why I knew Bob Barker was Price is Right? It's because How I Met Your Mother, and then that's gonna be my answer. How I Met Your Mother will be my comfort show. Oh, really? Yeah. How I Met Your Mother. Oh, man, there's so many shows. I I, I mix up the actors. Um, this one's who, with who was with uh, How I Met Your Mother? Uh, Bar- Barn. I was gonna name the characters. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris. That's who it is. Jason Siegel. Allison Hannigan, girl from, uh, is that uh, American Pie? This one time at band camp. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's also the girl from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yes. Yep. Um, dang, what's old girl's, uh, Lauren? I never watched How I Met Your Mother, dog. No, ah, uh, dang it. Sorry. Who plays Agent Hill in Marvel? Oh, 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 man, what's her name? Um... I know who you're talking about. She was she was in that show. She was in How I Met Your Mother. She was oh. one of the main characters as well. And oh, then uh, another guy, and I keep getting him mixed up with Paul Rudd, but it's not Paul Rudd. But anyways, that's that's like the main crew. Okay, I see that. Hmm. See, I don't have a sitcom that I really watched like that. Well, for me, like the shows that I would watch is just like like sitcoms. Like it would be that. It would be how much like mine would would have been like how much your mother, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Mm. Um, what else would? And I just I just got done rewatching it too. Those are my main two that stand out. I like how I had the top five, and then like it just went <laughs> went out the window. I, see again, I haven't watched too many um, sitcoms. Yeah. Um, have you ever watched, uh, actually, I think you're the one that told me about it. Um, I forget the title, Sunny in Philadelphia or something. Yeah, 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 <coughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What's the name of it? Sunny in Phil- Sunny in Philadelphia. That's the name of the show. See, maybe because I think I'm confusing the actors because I thought the actors from How I Met Your Mother were in Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought you would have said Friends. You know, everybody loves Friends. I have not watched at least a full season of Friends. You want to know what's crazy? I remember in high school for Avid, uh, it was the it was a field trip before the the school uh, went to uh, winter break, Christmas break. Mm-hmm. And uh, the field trip was to go to L.A. and watch a screen recording of Joey, the spinoff show. And I just remember there was one joke in there. It was it was hilarious. Um, but I, I don't think I've ever watched an episode of Friends and some of you guys might kill me. Um actually I again I don't watch sitcom. Well, is the office a sitcom? No. It's more mockumentary. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I only watched part of the first season of, of The Office. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't get into it. But I know a lot of the jokes. Yeah. yeah, yeah I know yeah. a lot of the jokes. Everyone's like, oh, you got to get past the first season. The first season's the worst. And I'm like, I can't. I understand. I got past, I got past it. I was like, I can't. Well, I, I was going to give it a second shot, but now it's streaming on Peacock. Peacock. Yeah. Everyone's fine when we say Peacock. But when we say Poopcock, it's a whole other story. <laughs> Anyways. Um. He said it again. Get him. <laughs> Get him. That was the fifth time today. <laughs> no. Um, okay. How I met your mother. And then and then you said what was that the show? Fresh Prince would have been Fresh Prince is honestly a banger. If if if, if we're including like 
older shows, Fresh Prince for sure. Um, Drake and Josh, even with the controversies uh, going on with Dean Schneider, Drake and Josh was an absolute banger. Um, what other shows from back in the day? Man, that's rough. Um, what was on Disney Channel actually? Even Stevens, that wasn't even. Oh, it doesn't even say sitcom. It just says favorite comfort show. Okay, for, like, like I said, bottom line, mine would be how I mentioned mine. What would yours be? Oof. Um, comfort show. I could rewatch. Turn my brain off. Not, not. Just unwind. Mm-hmm. I would probably say. Probably The Walking Dead, even though I haven't watched it in literally ten years. <laughs> I think the last season I watched was. Is this, is this over anime too? I'm not including anime. Oh, it's a okay. show. Okay. If we're if we're including anime, there's I, feel, a, I would there's say a ton. anime like would be kind okay. Of if we're show. including anime, um, one that I could rewatch, still pay attention to, but um, not have to seriously like. Like focus in on, um, of course Naruto, Full Metal Alchemist, but I say Full Metal Alchemist only because I've watched it. Like, I don't even know. I've watched Brotherhood at least, at least fifteen twenty times. Like, first episode, last episode, and the original anime, I watched at least ten. So. Those are two shows for sure that if I have nothing to watch or I, I just want something on to listen to in the background, uh, I could put those on and still be entertained, but I don't I don't have to focus unless I want to because, you know, the story is there. But yeah. OK. How I met your mother. It's like I don't even know you. <laughs> OK, next question. Next question. What makes zero sense to you? <laughs> what makes absolutely zero sense to you? Now I didn't I didn't I didn't prepare for this question either, so I gotta do a little bit of thinking also. Mm-hmm. Absolutely zero sense. <laughs> Why people gotta be so toxic, man? <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, I that is something I fucking hate. What? Like, why people gotta be so toxic, dog? I, <laughs> I hate that so much. You wonder what I really hate is when the toxic people see that you're doing good. And still try to be toxic to bring you down. It's just haters, man. I fucking hate that, bro. It's like, it's, just because you the, ain't got nothing going on. It's the, don't hate on me. It's the, like, why do they got to be so toxic? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's>, eh, no. <laughs> See, it's funny because. Um, it irks me just as much as when people slow down in traffic because there was an accident on the other side of the freeway. Oh, man, the fucking, the, just the lookers. What happened over there? Oh my god! Especially with the barriers, like yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. There's no point. All you can see is the fucking lights. What? Are you, what like, what's the? What's what are you gonna do? Point? Yeah, I'm curious ass. Stay in your lane. Keep driving. Eyes on the road. Ten and two, motherfucker. <laughs> like, those are more. That, those are also toxic people. <laughs> what? <laughs> just, just, just causing traffic. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> just nosy, just nosy mugs that are just <laughs> ain't got nothing better to do with their time. Oh man, you wanna. What really bothers me with toxic people is the toxic people in a specific thing, like in airsoft. You guys know that I work with airsoft GI. The airsoft community. Shut up! <laughs> I hate that he does that. The airsoft. The airsoft community has a toxic side shirt, to bro. it, bro. I have your shirt. Shut up! Yeah, I- you used to work out it. I know. <laughs> You're right, fudge. But I, bro, big, <laughs> big fan. Shut. shut. Big fan. <laughs> I hate you. Yeah, but uh, the community in Airsoft, there's a, a very big toxic portion to it. And it is a part of the community. Some some 
uh, of us have embraced it and expect it to be toxic. But looking from the outside in, it's like, why are, why is this section of the community, why does it exist? Why is it bringing it down? Like, I can get being, like, critical and, and, like, judgmental in terms of helping someone improve, but they're just people that hate to hate and just talk shit about everything. Well, it sounds like, like people just don't know any better. Yes, no, that's true. A, a lot of the ignorance does come, or a lot of the hate does come from ignorance is what I was trying to say. Uh, yeah, people, y'all stupid. All right, on a positive <laughs> note, what else doesn't make sense? You know, something that doesn't make sense. Like, like for some people, for me, for us. Pineapples belong on pizza. Belongs. Like, there's not on every kind of pizza, but if it's the right ingredients, it does belong on pizza. Not every pizza. But not every pizza. I'm not yeah. saying that. I'm no, just but saying. I, no, I, I get you. I can yeah. enjoy pineapple on pizza. I can enjoy a nice Hawaiian, like a yeah. chicken Hawaiian pineapple pizza. You want to know what I really want to make? Uh, a Hawaiian pizza, but instead of ham, spam. You know, I think someone's done that. But I feel I like someone has oh, to. Like, I'm not saying like it's never done been done before, but I do want to try it. Yeah, that sounds fire. What is something you will never do in the world? Number one, here we go. I don't think I'll ever go skydiving. I don't ever think I'll ever see my dad again. Shut the hell up. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> it's not fair. I can't make these jokes, man. <laughs> It's coming from a dark place. <laughs> and the lights is on, too. <laughs> what is something that I'll yeah. never do? Yeah, for me, I think skydiving is something that I will never do. And I thought about it, too. I thought maybe I will go skydiving one day. And but then what, what's what's the the stopper? What's like, what is it? Is it the fear? Absolutely it- the fear. And, you know, the, the, uh, there's a story of Will Smith. Um yeah, yeah. Going skydiving is, you know, it's absolute bliss once you get out of that. It's yeah. just, it's fear that's blocking you. Yeah, absolutely. is It is 100% the fear. Now, when I was younger, I don't think I was scared of heights. Like, I could look over, like, a cliff or whatever mm-hmm. uh, and be fine. But now I'll be at, like, the mall, like a two-story mall, and I'll look over the edge and I get a little bit of vertigo. And I'm like, I was like, what's going on? I'm getting old. Like, I get, I get a little... Like knees get shaky, and I'm like, "What? Wait, wait a minute! This ain't that high." <laughs> you know what's funny is, if someone can fact check me on this, but I, that's that same story. He talks about how like he went skydiving, he was afraid, and he said this thing where I said God put the most beautiful things on the other side of fear. That's Absolutely. what he said. That same video, his uh, his father in law had a heart attack. Really? Skydiving. He was like so like No way. Yeah. <laughs> I'll find the video, but he talks he talked about it. He's like that same video. Dad had like basically a heart attack. His dad on or the his, way- his father in law. Sorry, father in law. So he like had like a kind of like a stroke or something. Wait, wait, wait. Jada's dad? Yeah. Oh. Someone of the family. That's crazy. In law. But yeah, because it wasn't like only him skydiving. It was like him and a couple other people. And I think Yeah. And the, Willow and was the, one of them. And, and the stepdad had a, a, a heart attack. Yeah. Not stepdad, but father-in-law. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Which is just hilarious. <laughs> That's <laughs> it's dark. It's so dark. There's always two sides to every and story. There is choice. <laughs> you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump out the plane and just suddenly erupt in flames. I don't know. Like, <laughs> But is there I something know. that you fear that you think you'd never do? Have a family again. Shut <laughs> up. Seriously. <laughs> you fucking guy. What is something that I would never do? I'll never get a face tattoo or a neck tattoo. Oh, yeah. I N- would... Not even a neck? Like, no. Like back here, behind the ear? I thought about that. I really have thought about that. I mean, okay, I guess. The that would be the only here? part. Yeah, this? No. No. No, this is no go. No. Up here, the T zone. Yeah, hell no, <laughs> no. Yeah, at the end, it was something discreet. I, I guess it just has to like mean something. Yeah, I could put uh, Braille for the deaf people <laughs> next. To me. That's not a tattoo. That's a branding. <laughs> that's scar tissue. But it'll be a pun. I'm ear for you. I'm ear for you. <laughs> <laughs> 
I can't hear you. I can't hear me. <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, ne- neck or face tattoo. Option number one. Yeah, no, that's that's definitely a no go. I don't think there's a lot that I wouldn't do. I'm down for an adventure. Yeah, like I would do like a long distance zip line. I would do uh, scuba diving, which is something I really want to do. Ah, um, never mind. There you go. That's my option number two. Oh yeah, you're afraid of the deep D- sea. Deep sea. Is, and I told him before, I played this game on my ex's, like, Xbox. And was it I don't, Subnautica? I think I told you. I forgot what the name of it, uh, but it's like a survival game. But you ha- you would have to swim sometimes to find treasure. And far. And, you know, like, if you ever play, like, a game, it there's, like, if you, it basically you dived into the coral, which isn't that deep, which yeah. is fine. Makes sense. But if you go past certain a certain point. Bottomless. Bottom and then just dark. Dark. Which is very realistic. It's obviously going to run out. Me yeah. thinking like, oh, this <laughs> this reef is going to go for miles. Mm. Now, I'm over here, you know, <laughs> oh, got me a There's rock, an edge. Got, <laughs> got me clay deposit. Turn to the side. Darkness. But do you realize whenever we go to the beach, like. like Please don't ruin this. I understand. <laughs> Please don't ruin the beach for me. <laughs> I would say it. I would say it. I would say remember it. That, I would say it. I would say because it. Because the fear did start like a year and a half ago, and we went to the beach. Yeah, we went to the beach like last year. Like last year. Literally like last year. Like this I time. I understand we're... that. Every time I dove, my eyes were closed. <laughs> I didn't want to open my eyes. Okay. I would say it because I know something. <laughs> I was it. I was it. Cisco. <laughs> so you would Cisco. I told him my fear. <laughs> so I was like, let's look up some videos. <laughs> thinking, I was thinking like, we can look at videos. That's fine. I'm like 30 seconds in, and I'm sweating. I'm showing. I'm showing him like, <laughs> like see. <sighs> it was like a slideshow of different things of like the deep blue, just like. I forget the fear name itself. It's like Thasmophobia. It's a long... It's a, yeah, Thasmolani no, yeah. Nopalopis. Hold on. I'm, I'm Googling it right now. The Lassophobia. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so, unlike Aquaphobia, uh, which is the fear of any type of water... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm so sorry>. <laughs> 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 Unlike the fear of any type or amount of water, thalassophobia is persistent, intense fear of bodies of deep, dark water that exist below the surface. Okay, so that is definitely what you have. <laughs> and you, you mentioned deep, dark, and I, I just just tuned it out because there was nails on the chalkboard at that point. <laughs> I remember I was showing you different pictures. Cause, oh, there was one video that I showed you, cause it 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 messed me up. This dude is like, he's he's deep sea diving, and the water is black, like like you go underwater, it's pitch black. But he's getting chased by a shark or something. Like it is like gnawing at him, and he's like. Where the hell is the boat? He's breathing heavy. I was like, oh, man. I remember that. I'm sorry I put you through that. That's hilarious. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to put you through it again. I'm, you know what? I, I remember what was just hilarious was it was a slideshow. So I'm like, okay, we got this. We got this. It yeah, yeah. You like, it's, oh, yeah. It was different pictures of different things in the deep blue sea. And I'm like, oh, that was fine. It was like a, like a little coral wall. And then like in the back, it's pitch dark. Like, oh, that was fine. That yeah. was fine. And then it'd be like nothing but pitch black. Little blue rims on the side. On the side, I'd be like, oh, like. No, there was one that I showed you. It gave you. me chills. There was one that I showed you. It was like an above shot where you can see the surface of the water in a small boat. And like a huge, like obviously it's photoshopped, a huge like shark or something. And you're like, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> if I was under sea and I saw sharks around me, I'm inhaling the water. Quick. You're inhaling the water. I'm, <laughs> I'm breathing that mug in, dog. 
Because there's no way. <laughs> Wild. Oh, shit. There's no way. <laughs> I'm breathing in water. I'm inhaling it. There's Yo. no way I'm going to be in the sea with some shark. And I have to That's live in the shit. fear that is this shark going to bite me or what? And it's obviously faster than you in the sea. Oh yeah, no. I, I, there, there is a what if question. Oh damn, I have a whole bunch of what if questions or uh, would you rather questions for us too. Yeah. But um, there is, there is a would you rather fight a shark in the ocean, or, or a lion on land? And I was like, give me the lion, give me the lion, like, at least, at least I have something to grab onto. At yeah, least I, yeah, yeah. I'm not gasping for air. Like uh, the fear of that, the fear of of being in deep water, fighting a shark. You know, I don't know how Rob Deerdick did it. I remember that. Remember that episode? And I thought that was cool <laughs> at, the time. at that time. Now, now that you're older and wiser, I I wouldn't. What was number two? Number two was scuba diving. I think this goes along with scuba diving. I, I just wouldn't go shark like cage diving. Oh yeah, yeah. The the. Uh, no. Shark viewing? Yeah, 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 yeah no. no, hell no. I've seen the sharks break that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even care about the break hell part. Once no. again, I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna. All I see is a dark blue ocean. What about what about a like a submarine? Not not the not the billionaire one that is controlled by a like a PS5 controller. Like oh, like like visually? No, you you didn't see that. Apparently, there's like a little like literally like a controller that was controlling the entire submarine yeah of of that ship that killed the billionaires i remember that yeah i yes. remember there was a whole bunch of memes on it yeah i wouldn't do that either yeah see i would ah! oh sorry <laughs> I, I wouldn't do the submarine because i'm claustrophobic yeah i the idea of being trapped in a capsule at the bottom of the ocean or if i open that motherfucker i'm going to die terrifies me the idea i mean i've been on a plane before but every time i've gone on a plane i think i've gone on a plane three or four times now three of those times i've had an anxiety attack where i'm literally like get me off the plane i'm uh, like i'm about to walk actually boaz he can attest the one time that we were flying out uh, to texas for bb wars uh i the moment we stepped on the plane i immediately started having an anxiety attack i sat down i said boaz i'm about to walk off the plane said it as calm and like a straight face down like, i'm having an anxiety attack I'm literally about to walk off the plane, and I don't give a fuck. They could fire me. They could charge me the money for the ticket. I don't care. I'm about to walk off this plane and go the fuck home and go to sleep because this shit is not okay. There have been... I hate the fact that I have claustrophobia because it happens... Oh, before I started getting treatment for it, it was happening everywhere. Like, I get claustrophobia stuck in traffic in the car. I get that. Boxed in, just the idea. Of being yeah, boxed like in. I'm not gonna be able to get off the not freeway. Physically space, but yeah, just like actual. I hate mentally, that. yeah, yeah, yeah I get so you. much. Yeah, like have you seen those? Um, they're not torture rooms. What are they? Are escape rooms? Escape rooms, but it's like, like, like the max level of escape rooms where they'll like lock you in a box. Yeah, yeah. Put your hands on. Put their hands on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I saw one where you like. You like go up against the wall, and this latex sheet comes and it presses up against everybody, and they suck the air out of it with vacuums, and it's just like, like the most gimp fucking thing. It's fucking weird. It's just, like look like a like a those things that you uh, remove the air from for uh, <laughs> for uh, like produce, like meat. You vacuum seal, like these motherfuckers. I don't know. Like I see videos of it. I'm like, how? I would, this is why I carry a knife with me and sharp objects, because I cut that motherfucker open. Y'all you know, like, ain't getting me with this shit. Your, your, your shrieks of, of fear is, is pretty hilarious. Why? <laughs> my shrieks, my shrieks of fear? Yeah. And it's very rare it happens, but when it does, like, I know it's like more jokingly, but I know there's just a little fear of it. And it's. What have I screamed? I'm, I'm trying to remember, but I know it's very. I mean, no, I, I understand what you're saying because I get like that with spiders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate spiders. I fucking hate. I hate. I don't care what any of you guys say, especially you guys that like spiders. You fucking weird. Okay, you need to, you need to go where the spiders. You do. You bring them to your house. Just 
Oh, God, it's just the worst. You know, two things that I remember from my childhood that traumatized me. Number one, when I was a kid, I, I was uh, I was in sixth grade. I just got out of school and it was a minimum day. I forgot my key to get into my house. And the house I was minimum days. I do, you know. <laughs> the way to get into my house, you know, there's a little walkway that leads up to the to the front door, but there's a little archway that we had a bench underneath. And the the hose uh for watering everything was right there. So I was like, damn, it's it's like twelve thirty. My dad's not gonna get home until like one one thirty, so I'm bored out of my mind waiting for my dad. Well, you know what? Let me water the plants. So I'm sitting on I'm sitting on the bench watering the plants on the wall adjacent to me. Right? Is that adjacent? Across from me. Barely. I see I see one little black widow start climbing up. I'm like, mm-mm, straight down. I was like, <laughs> okay, cool, whatever. Continue to water him. And I see the, the, the black widow. I see black widow. I don't know if it's the same black widow. I see it come from a different angle. You know, from black a different widow spot. be looking alike sometimes. It climbed up. I said, man, you're not going to get away from me just because you moved like a foot. Sprayed it down. And I stopped watering it. I turned it off. Turned off the hose. And then I see like five to eight of these motherfuckers climbing up the wall. I said, nope. Turned the hose back on. Sprayed them all down. And I'm like, no, they're dying. <laughs> they're dying to death. <laughs> right? They're dying. It scared me. And then as I'm watering it, I see one from a web come down, land right on my shoulder. I swear to God, I screamed so loud. I've never ripped off a shirt faster in my life. <laughs> ah! I was uh, sixth grade. I don't even know how old I was. I think like like twelve or something. My oh, my my friend from across the street heard me. He ran across the street. He was in his house, just chilling, and heard me chilling. scream, murder. <laughs> yeah, bloody murder. Ah, scream freaking out in the middle of the street because I'm like, I'm not going back over there. My backpack, my shirt, everything is over there. I'm not going back over there. He was like, what's going on? I was like, there's a... There's a... There's all these spiders. Oh, you landed on me. He was like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. He's like, he grabbed my shirt, shook it off. I was like, I'm not putting that shit back on. I don't give a, I don't give a fuck. Throw that thing in the trash. Yeah, that thing belongs in an incinerator, okay? He grabbed my backpack, and then I hung out at his house until my dad came back shirtless. No, I think I put it back on because he was like, no, for real, it's gone. I was scared out of my mind. That, that is one, that is the, I think the major traumatizing one. But then I remember the movie with Will Smith, the great Will Smith, in Wild Wild West. His... <laughs> <laughs> Probably his worst movie. <laughs> but as a kid, I actually I had those glasses from Burger King. <laughs> oh my god. Do you remember god. those? Do you remember those? Oh my god. <laughs> I would go around <laughs> because Men in Black uh, Men in Black. Burger King used to have the the Men in Black uh flash thing. Did they really? Yeah. It was oh, either Men in, it was either um Burger King or McDonald's, but I think it was Burger King. I think it might have been Burger King. Burger King was popping back. The, in the only day. reason why I remember it was because it was at the Ontario Mills Burger King. Oh and shit! And your boy was over here just like trying to flash people. Yeah, <laughs> you don't remember me, stupid, <laughs> stupid idiot, buddy. <laughs> but I would use the sunglasses. Really? From Wild Wild West, dude. I had those. I mean, I still enjoy the movie. Yeah, but. There are a couple scenes that are because you know uh, uh, the major antagonist is only half his body on yeah. a, on a spider robot. And they built the the robots didn't bother me. It was actual tarantulas that they showed in the movie. I'm like, oh my god! Do you remember the scene where they're in the desert and they're like, how are we about to defeat a giant spider? Mm -hmm. And then there's a tarantula, and then like like a like a like a wasp hawk or something. Oh, yeah, comes yeah, over. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just watching. I was like, ugh. Ugh. Is, oh, God, it's gross. And he kills it, and then yeah. it, like, goes inside to lay its eggs. And I was like, ugh. Yeah, I hate spiders. I hate spiders to death. Um, Yeah, I think this episode ran a little too long, but that's all good. So oh, it, God, it we, went from... We, it haven't, went from we haven't even... We didn't... We never... And, like fully answered any of the questions. <laughs> we're gonna see what we're gonna do because I want to record a couple more episodes. Everything that we answered or that we asked, we're gonna think about. 
We're gonna we're gonna actually like make a list. We'll, we'll revisit it. In, it in hurts a, my head, SpongeBob. <laughs> we're gonna revisit it in a couple months or so, so we could so we could actually give the answers that we want to say. But uh, yeah, that was very interesting. It went from uh, just random questions to our deepest darkest fears. <laughs> oh shit! All right, thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Uh, the Barely Brothers podcast. If you like it, make sure you subscribe. And yes, guys, I am working on getting it onto streaming platforms oh with my audio. God, stop asking for Spotify, bro. Okay. It's a process. Hey, I gotta, I gotta, hey. I gotta do a whole bunch of stuff. I gotta get a copyright for it. It, it costs money. Yeah. And if you guys want to help us out, we, you know, we get subscribe. there when we get there, brother. Yeah. But for now, it's gonna be on YouTube. Appreciate you guys so damn much. Uh, if you have any questions that you want us to answer, please put it in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And my name is Cisco. My name is Ratu. And we'll see you guys later. Peace, y'all. Milk tonic. <laughs> <laughs>